This is another world. A vast, silent and forbidding continent of snow and ice we know vaguely as the Antarctic. One of the last and the most formidable of nature's challenges to the ingenuity and courage of man. For today, despite the triumph of man in so many other spheres, it remains virtually unconquered. Of its six million square miles, as large as Australia and Europe put together, only the very fringes have been seen, although the world still hails the proud achievement of Amundsen and Scott, who crossed from the Ross Sea to the South Pole in 1911 and 1912. And now man tries again with the British Commonwealth Trans-Antarctic Expedition, led by Dr. Fuchs, the first to tackle this 1,800 miles journey where temperatures of 90 degrees of frost have been recorded. To hear more about it, let's meet Dr. Fuchs in an interview with Captain Tuck. Well, of course, the, our Theron trip this year has really cleared up quite a lot, and we know what we're up against. We've got the crevassed area, and then there's the mountain 75 miles in, and yes. once we're over those, I think that uh, we can say we're clear away to the pole, taking us from there right up to this point. Well, then, uh, on my mind, of course, is what happens uh, with the Ed Hillary party coming in from the other end. Now, tell me, what is actually the total distance across Antarctica of the journey? Well, the total distance, of course, is uh, about 2,000 miles. That allows a little diversion, and uh, we may have a little more. That's rather a long way. How long do you reckon it'll take to get across? We, we've got uh, to get off the high ice cap by the end of February, which means we have about four months, and some of that, of course, will be in working, uh, you know, survey and all the rest of it. Yes, of course. But um, uh, really, we've got to um, consider what happens to Hillary's um, uh, party. He's going in, lays the depot, and yeah. then has to divert for mountains. How far he can go on, we don't know, but between the pole and the depot, he'll meet us. And that will be your meeting point? Yes. And now, Chairman of the Expedition, Marshal of the Royal Air Force, Sir John Slesser. Well, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen and heard something of what this uh, Trans-Antarctic Expedition is about. And as you know, they've, they've just very recently sailed back to the Antarctic, this time in another ship called the Magadan. Now, the reason why I'm here is that uh, these sort of things cost a great deal of money. We are receiving very generous support from the British and the New Zealand governments, but uh, we still want some more money from you. And uh, so I'm here to ask you to be good enough to take a hand in this great adventure by uh, putting something in the box as you go out. <laughs> 